super busy lately um, but I've been meaning to make uh, more tutorials just that I didn't have time so now I'm back and I'm gonna show you how to make a draw deck so basically what you need to know is how to make a modern magic box so refer to the previous video or in one of the, the previous videos I don't know which one and the baggy box which I believe is the first tutorial so basically what it what is it it's a thing that will hold your cards like that so in the box it's very secure like that and when you want to play basically you just transform it and it will look like that and it makes it easy for you to draw cards so it's i guess it's good for deck builders um so that's like that and you pull it you transform it, up, lock it, and there you go. Sorry for that bird. <laughs> and when you're done playing, pull the, the tip of it, like flap it back like that, and lock it again, and then it's all good. Your cards are good. So the only uh, problem is that big, big decks like this one, um, I mean, this is probably the maximum size you can do because you're using like baggy boxes. So it's always going to be like uh, the the height and the width of the, the baggy is always the thickness of your deck. So I don't know if you can really see here, but this is probably the maximum because that's where they collide and if the deck was a tiny bit bigger then this baggie wouldn't be able to close at all because it would like be blocked by the other one so that's probably the maximum size you can get that's the only issue with it but apart from that it's fantastic it works very well and it's very convenient so let's get started uh, so we're gonna take some measurements so this is uh, my citadel's uh, deck and I thought, why not make a draw deck with it, all right? We can also call that a card shoe, by the way. So we'll need some measurements. What we need is obviously the width of a bo the box, the length of the box, and the height of the box, which will be basically a tiny bit bigger than the size of a card. So let's get these measurements. So the height of the box will be Okay, so the deck is 22 millimeters thick. So let's say 25, I guess. And a card is 89 times 56 89 times 56 89 uh, 93 a bit or oh, maybe maybe less 92 and uh, width Damn it, I forgot. I said 56 here, 56. Uh, actually, I think I, I don't mind leaving a bit of space there. 93 is fine in the length, I think. Okay, so. So we'll need a modern magic box that is 25 times 93 times 59. So you just uh, refer to uh, the, the old uh, tutorial or you just use the website to count, to calculate the measurement for your paper. Uh, in, in this case, it says it's 178 
millimeters. So I'll just cut a paper that is that size and I'll be right back. Here I am with my piece of paper there. Well, I'm just using scrap paper because I don't really like uh, wasting. Anyway, uh, you just uh, we're just gonna make like a normal modem as you, and the the difference will be when we're gonna fold one of the sides. So I'm just gonna speed up the process because you should know by now how to make a modem as you. So here we are, um, I hope I've, I was a bit accurate, but it's not really easy because I'm standing behind the camera, so I, I'm, I don't know if I'm really like lined up, where, but anyway, uh, we're gonna do the folding now. So for the sides of the modem as you, it's exactly the same. I'm just gonna fold here to, and then mark the fold with our tool. Oh, do the same on the other side. So the edges are quite sharp. Uh, I'll cut that because I think it's kind of ugly, but no rush. Um, on one side here, we will do like a normal modem as you, which is we cut up to the corner of the box like that. So we can Mark the edges here too. And, all right, so that's how normally you make a box on this side. Uh, I cut this side, so it will look uh, centered the line, but that's just me. So I'm just gonna glue it even though you shouldn't, but I think it holds better and it will be easier to see uh, how you're actually attaching uh, the back of uh, the box. Don't wanna cover it too much with glue because there's a part that is actually visible. So. Okay, well, so I glued it. I think it looks kind of dry, so you can see that looks quite good. So obviously there will be a baggie there to stop the cards from falling, but it looks like the measurements were go good. So now what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna fold against the line at the top on the other side of the modem as you. It's a bit tricky to not damage it all, but up. And that looks like that. So just mark the folds a bit better because it's a bit thick. Okay, and now you see this uh, little diagonal here and here, you're gonna fold on it. I personally like to fold on both sides, so but I think it's up to you. I'll, I'll just mark the fold as well. Up. It's not easy though because it's quite thick. Okay. So now it looks a bit like that. And 
normally if you just like push the sides that's transforming into that shape which is what we want that will be the draw position the <laughs> sports mode <laughs> and uh, when it's back like that it will be in the box and secured and not moving so now all we need to do is to make the two baggies so you just need to take measurements of basically this uh, face and that's all we need to know because the baggie is you know the the width and the height are the same Okay, so as uh, we made this, normally these are these measurements here. Uh, I usually add like a millimeter to uh, the height or something, one or two, it depends on the paper. I'm gonna use thick paper, so I'm gonna try to do it with plus two millimeters and we'll see, uh, which would be basically uh, a baggie that is uh, 59 uh, times uh, 27. So, uh, to do the calculation for your paper, I refer you to the very first tutorial. So here's my paper. Um, I'm gonna speed up the process as well on how to make a baggie. So here we are, I made one baggie, so that's usually the first one I put. So if it's a bit tight, but I think that should be good, yes it is fine. If it's a bit tight, I would recommend to just open the baggie with, I mean one flap of the baggie, you fit it and then you can secure it, but normally it should be fine. Uh, and then you just make another one like that, for the top part, that should if it fits at the bottom, it should fit at the top, but I'm just checking. Yes, it fits at the top. And usually when I do it in sports mode, I flip it. I don't know why, but that's that's a habit of mine. Uh, yeah, there's no, no baggie at the bottom to secure it, so the cards are falling off. But it looks fine, so I'll make another one uh, and I'll come back to you. So there we are, it should fit because I did exactly the same measurement. At the beginning it's a bit tight and usually it loosens up a bit after a few uses. So that's what it looks like. So I think it takes definitely more time than making a VipoCut but it's really handy and also um, makes a good use of uh, scrap paper because you see like these baggies, they're like using very very uh, like small surfaces of paper so if you have like some scraps that you don't know what to do with usually they're, they're good to go in, in a draw deck I would say but yeah then that's pretty good you can also um, you don't have to make like a draw deck that is vertical like that you could very well make a draw deck that is for horizontal cards you know it's just that the baggies would be uh, on that part of the box instead of this part and it would be just a bit like the baggies would be longer as well uh, you can also make like double decks like double draw decks you know like uh, for example wingspan has a lot of a lot of cards so you could very well do something like oh it, it's ugly okay but it's just to explain uh, you could very well make a very big draw deck and make a, some kind of divider there and then you would have uh, a deck there and a deck there 
uh, the divider I would not recommend a kata because the kata goes up and then it's in the corners um, in the edges which is eh I, I just would probably do some paper that I've as a glue to the to the um, to the bottom of uh, the box and then like fold it in some kind of you know like that and then glue this part as well and then glue that part so it's just like does a separation there and it's quite secure if you glue up all these but yes you can do plenty of things basically um, I just never had the use to do these that's why I don't have any example to show but uh, they are uh, totally possible totally, totally viable and yes that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial